Hello everybody, Ziggy Dan here, also known as Blades. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to add UI icons uh, in the shop. For instance, like you're in the customization shop where you're selecting parts, bumpers and stuff like that. And you actually want to see the photo of the part that you're selecting before you select it. So you don't have to benignly select and stuff like that. So the, the program that I'm going to be using is Canva and you can just type in canva.com and yeah, so you're going to go to create design right here or you can press customize, you can press create design, customize size and the actual size of the UI icons in shop where you're customizing will be 256 by 6 by 4 right so you're going to type this in i already have it here so i don't need to type it but you can two by two five six six four so you're going to press it it's going to bring up this shape right here all right then make sure that you have the picture that you took of the part that you want to have the icon to in shop already i already took the picture so i'm just going to navigate to uh, american truck simulator screenshot and this is it so we're going to add this it's loading up right over here I'm trying to make this as short as possible I'm going to drag it remember the main focus is the headlights right so I'm going to try to get it in as much as possible so there we have our properly scaled um, UI icon. So next step will be to download it. Right here, we're going to press download. I should have put on the thing that's here because the mouse, but I hope you guys can see. I'm going to press download. And it's downloading. It says completed. So I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to rename it. Uh, here's another step I think is, is very important. Yeah, this is the dev file, right? For the headlight that I'm going to put the UI icons on. So to find it, your dev, you go to the truck, go to the dev folder, vehicle, truck, the truck name, and you go to accessory. Then you go to the accessory, you're going to edit the, the dev file for the headlight. I already changed the name. This is This is very important right here very important you can put this name to anything i put mine to 359c because that is going to be the name of the ui icon this is very important so the what i have downloaded right here i'm going to change it to the same name 359c now we're going to go into blender i'm on blender 2.93 so very important i hope you're following this far i created this folder here named ziggy and you can name it whatever you want to name it so i name it ziggy and you're gonna have your material folder ui accessory very important keep this open all right you don't have to but keep it open all right then now we're going to set the path very important as well so we're going to select this folder beside um, the file path you're going to select it right you're going to press this to get to this tab workspace tab and you're going to press the folder and i want you to navigate to the name the folder that you created on your desktop remember my name is ziggy double tap it and i select it right perfect now if you haven't already split your blender like this split it and when you split it you have a second view over here you're going to change it's going to come as 3d viewport but i want you to change it as uv editor right you're going to see something like this i want you to select open and navigate to the um, the photo that you 
made and downloaded um, from Canva. So you're going to put, I'm going to search it 359C. Alright, so we'll find 359C. Here's a photo. Perfect. Now we're going to select image, save as, right? And then we're going to go to uh, the folder that's on the desktop. I'm going to change it to Targa. From, change it from PNG to Targa. Go to Material, UI, Accessory, and you save it right here. Make sure it's already TJ, all right? Targa, save image. I'm, I'm trying to make it understand as best as possible. So I hope you guys are following. If it's too fast for you, just slow down. You can slow down the video, all right? Now you're gonna have this cube open, right? You're gonna have it right here. Now you're gonna go to the materials property right over here. Materials property. And then we're going to go to new. And we're going to go down to where you see shader preset. You're going to press diff spec. Right? Then we're going to go to the folder on the desktop that you created also. Let me just do it step by step with you guys. This is So this is a folder that's on the desktop that you created material ui accessory and here it is in its tj format select material perfect and very important to create a tovj right so it's going to show up plus right here press it you don't have to put any uv mapping right here uh, turn down the specular all the way down and add vertex to all now we're going to go to the Output property right here. Output property and uh, where it says SCS conversion helper. Press that like a little paintbrush thingy. Then you're going to press convert current SCS project. This is going to done finish very quickly. Perfect. So I'm going to navigate to where um, my stuff are, my conversion tools folder. I'm going to navigate to where it's exported to. I'm going to go to RSRC folder, linked, underscore BT, whatever, cache, material, UI, accessory. And here's the two files that we need. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go to the chalk folder that you're working on. Sorry for my messy messy uh, file organization you know i'm a mother so i have a lot of files and when you go into it you're going to go to the materials tab right i'm going to go to the materials folder then you're going to go to ui then you're going to go to accessory and this is where you're going to paste it 359c all right then it's very important you're going to need a mod file you can grab any one of these mod files you can see it, mod file, mod file, mod file. So just copy it. I'm going to paste it right outside. I'm going to rename this to 359C. I'm going to double tap it. 359C. You have to rename this as well. Save. And I'm going to drag it back in there. That's it. Finish. Now you're going to pop the, um, zip the chalk up like this. Now you're going to, I use 7-zip to compress my files. And that's it. Give it some time. And I'm going to edit out this part. Well, I'm not going to edit it. Just stick with me. It's going to be very quick. I'm just going to go in game and show you that it actually works. This is a very thing, neat thing to add to your work. It's not required are it's not a most you can add like the name of your your shop or your name and so that it shows up on all the icons but i'm i just like to be things do things very neat and organized so i'm starting to do this with all my mods 
individual parts will show individual icons so you won't get lost all right now it's finished cut i'm gonna go to mod american truck simulator mod i'm gonna paste it overwrite yes now let's go in game very beautiful game where would we be with our american truck simulator right now let's continue you're going to see that it shows the same exact thing that we've just done on the icons on the customization part i should say so we're going to press short dealer let's go right into it I'm not wasting any time all right so let's try this now i'm going to go to the headlights and here it is there it is you have your ui icons here's your headlight i'm i'm gonna um light mask these headlights these are just placeholders for now part of modding all right as you can see the same exact thing there it is there it is i hope this video can help you guys so you guys can Add your own customization to what you're trying to do to your truck. I'm trying to finish up mines. It's a very labor intensive work, but it will work to all the, the hustle. It makes your work look very clean and tidy. Almost finished with mine. Everything matches. Here we go. Recently finished the grills. Alright, thanks again for watching again guys. I'm signing out.